just you speak about friendship dynamic something that i've picked up is that in terms of friendship there's a bit of imbalance when it comes to friendship i'm just curious to you know, to hear from you guys like what do you value in friendship and what stands out in friendship y okay 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 She's mel b is ready <laughs> what what is the deal breakers of friendship because i think friendship is beautiful and it shouldn't be complicated mm. but we have friends that you are a group of friends lili foso baba mbaitu babu aka omongwe you know and i i just don't get it i don't i don't get it what's the purpose of friendship if you know what i mean why can friendship be pure and beautiful and just be free because you become yourself and another thing about friendship that I, I i i'm picking up now is that in friendships you you have different individuals you can be four you can be ten you can be two mm -hmm. you're not the same people mm -hmm. but the truth is you come as you are mm -hmm. i love you as you are and you're not my friend so that i can change who you are mm -hmm. i love you as you are and i embrace whatever mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. if if you love yoga we will go to yoga together if i love um dancing or camping we will go camping we will compromise we will share because we are friends i will i will get into your space you'll get into my space friendship breakups they had the most mm. they had the most because we are so vulnerable because mm. you know putty said earlier that you know i can be vulnerable with my friends you know the people that you can be free with if you lose that sometimes you lose a part of you mm -hmm. yeah. so let's talk about that ladies i don't know what you have in mind you know I'm getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> okay um for me a, a deal breaker in a friendship uh, i think for me loyalty is 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 actually very essential uh, I would I would uh, love to have a friend or when I say someone is my friend it's actually someone who can actually represent me even in my absence you know yeah. mm -hmm. someone who will stand up for me in a room full of people in my absence yeah. you know I think that's what uh, a real friend uh, mm -hmm. is all about mm -hmm. you know loving each other caring for one another celebrating one another and you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to wait for okay, you anyway. Okay. <laughs> for me, I think people come to me because I'm a coach and they come and tell me their problems oh. in a way to solve their problems. And most problems would be romantic relationships. Yeah. Which I hardly find problems in there, but I'm very challenged when it comes to friendships. Mm -hmm. And this is like, you know, naturally people think that when you're a coach, you don't have problems. But today, sis is here saying I, mm. I am very challenged when it comes to yeah. friendships because yes it can be part of me like you were saying friday that my friend you like to control things and you don't like it too hard. hard yes yeah. yes okay sorry <laughs> yes too hard on us <laughs> stop <laughs> yes yeah. that and maybe that can be why i am facing some challenges when it comes to friendships but for me a deal breaker when it comes to friendships is when my friend is my competitor or feels like they can compete with me you know um i'm sitting here with ladies who are celebrating me like we literally celebrate each other when one of us buys something we like when are we going to celebrate exactly. i need people like that but not people like oh you just bought a bmw okay i'm going to buy a one bigger than and they don't even celebrate no you can buy another bigger car than me and we can celebrate you but celebrate also everything. Uh, celebrate me as well so yeah. for me a deal breaker is somebody who wants to compete with me and sometimes competition you don't have to tell me that you are competing with me i can feel it mm -hmm. right so energy. yeah the energy behind that so yeah mm. wow wow yeah i share the same sentiment um but just to add on that i think another thing i think big thing for me which is in romantic relationships and friendship it's trust mm. uh. trust for me trust it's a 
deal breaker. Mm. Because if I don't trust you, then I'm not safe. Yes, mm. yes. I'm not safe. It's mm. I, I can't be with you because I don't feel secure. Yeah. Um, I have to watch out for myself. Yes. I yeah, have to I be. I have to be on guard. Mm. I'm not sure if you're recording me. <laughs> you know yes, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if you're going to broadcast what I just said. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're taking notes so that you can narrate to my enemies that you're mm. so. Safety. For me, if I feel that I can't trust you, mm-hmm. then I'm out mm-hmm. because I have to look out for myself and I would not be giving you the best of myself mm. if I'm on guard. Yes. Mm. It means that I will not be authentic with you. Yeah. Mm. I will have to be fake with you and it's not worth it. Mm. It's a waste of time, mm. energy. Mm. So I think we have to go find ourselves and maybe one day we can be friends again but if we don't have trust at this point uh, it's not worth it sure. deep i've got one question ladies why am i the only one drinking are you drinking <laughs> no drinking something oh and uh, <laughs> Eva too. okay okay i'm, I'm not trying to m- oh, oh okay yeah, okay nice coffee Okay. Oh, coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ice coffee, Miguel. Ice coffee. I don't get ice coffee. I don't show. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So I'm picking up a lot from what you guys said, and I'm loving that. And and I think what comes to the top of my head is trust, and don't compete. Like, don't compete. Um. If you value that friendship and if you are genuinely truthful to yourself and, you know, you love your friends the way you say you do, you will celebrate them. Mm -hmm. And when you celebrate them, you won't celebrate them with, yeah, it's beautiful, but you know, I also want that. Or, you know, I'm going to get mine when I... Remember that when you celebrate someone, don't don't put yourself in the picture Mm. it's not about you it's not about you it's about them Mm. celebrate them (laughs) it's not your season it's not your season season your season is coming and and don't also celebrate them because you know your season celebrate them because you genuinely celebrate them Mm. You know, because you want to. Because oh, sorry. Mm. Yes. Out of order. <laughs> okay. I, you know what? Mm. Celebrate them because you know celebration is not about what you do. Yes. It's not about the champagne. Celebration comes from within. Yes. So, so actually, the champagne yes. and the balloons yes. and all of that are just symbols of how you already feel on the inside. Yes. So actually, you celebrate them from the moment they say, "I'm pregnant." And you're like mm. alone mm. <laughs> from the moment they say mm. I've bought a house from the moment when they say I'm healed mm. from the moment that, that when they say my partner and I are happy mm. you know from 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 those or I'm graduating you already feel the celebration inside mm. of you and you pick up the phone or you on that whatsapp group sending an mm. audio like when are we meeting you know because you want to express Express how you feeling. already feel because there are people that can show up at your celebration ceremony mm. but it's not that they're celebrating so yes. i'm saying it's not about the yeah. ce- ceremonies there yeah. it's the expression of how you feel inside mm. yeah mm. all right done mm. bridge now okay Listen, real fam, we have overstated our visit in this place, but that was beautiful. I hope you took something out of it. And, I mean, we spoke about friendship. We spoke about how you can give yourself grace. And with that said, we're going to have to wrap it up because we're gonna, they, they're going to charge us more in this place. But anyway, we love you. And hey, it's my channel. Why do you want to close before I close? You know? So, real fam, please. Um, this is how we start season two. Be be sure to subscribe because there's more coming and I believe this is a blessing. And subscribe, darling. Bona. Oh, like, and 
like subscribe and comment you know this is how we officially started and i feel so blessed and i know great things are about to come because these are powerhouses listen they say ask me if you want to know who i am show me your friends okay i won't go much into detail but my friends darling wherever i go when i talk about them huh they are okay anyway we're not gonna go there so in closing real fam thank you so much for joining i love and appreciate you and i always say remember to always give yourself grace remember to always make today count because you don't know what tomorrow may bring so with that say in closing i just want a word say something in closing i mean we start in the year okay we start in the year Mina, what I'm going to say to you, Real Fam, is that please don't try to be someone that you're not. Be truthful to yourself. Be realistic with yourself. Life is too short. And when I say life is too short, what I mean is that I'm not talking about death. A year is nothing. Before you know it, the year will be over. This, this thing of you being unhappy, being, you know, not being in, at peace with yourself because you're trying to please other people, it has to end. Mm. Forget about that. Mm. What do you want? What are you about? What makes you happy? Try putting yourself first. You know, there's so much we can talk about that we spoke about this weekend, but we're not going to get there. I'm healing from people pleasing. Mm. I don't know what you're healing from, but please... As you heal, remember to always give yourself grace and choose yourself. Mm. Choose you all the time. And that's how I wrap it up. So, Putti, what do you have to say? Give your, yourself grace. Give yourself grace. Mm. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Embrace yourself. Embrace your journey. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, Eckhart Tolle said something powerful to me. Uh, not to me. I wish, but to Eckhart Tolle to me, ne? Okay, so Eckhart Tolle said something very profound, which I took for myself. Um, he said, "Accept each moment as if you had chosen it." Mm. Mm. That changed my life. Mm. Do not resist anything, mm. but accept whatever life throws at you as if you picked it and you chose it. Mm. Thank you. Mm. I wonder what am I going to say after that. <laughs> um, all right. So for me is um, a statement that uh, one of my mentors and people that I look up to like to say uh, Michael Beckworth, he says, you cannot be who you are not willing to become vibrationally. So mm. if you are going to give yourself grace and, you know, like we're saying, accepting yourself is a mm. journey, mm. but you got to do it. And you got to believe that accepting is already within you. Yeah. Sometimes we are looking for things and maybe it's not even material things, but we don't believe in our hearts of hearts and in our minds that we can become those people. So the statement says you cannot be that which you are not willing to become. You know, you can say I am accepting myself having a nice body, but are you willing to become that person? Right. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just like that, it's a wrap, real fam. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with all your friends. Love you. Bye.